Good morning! I'm Teacher Georgine. Welcome to our math class. We are now in quarter 3, week 6. As we move on with our lessons, we are going to discover what elapsed time is and how to find it in seconds or in minutes. Before we start with exploration, let's know how well you understood time. Here are facts that we should bear in mind when we deal with time. If we have 60 seconds, then there is a minute. 60 minutes is equal to an hour. Do you know that in a day we have 24 hours? Do you want to prove if a day really has 24 hours? May I present to you this table or chart? What do you see in the table? Yes! Listed is the time starting from 12 o'clock midnight of the day down to the next 12 midnight of the following day. Say for example, when clock strikes at 12 midnight, it is December 31, 2021. When clock strikes 1 o'clock a.m., then an hour has passed. When strikes at 2 o'clock a.m., two hours pass. When strikes at 3 a.m., 3 hours has passed, and so forth. So, when 12 noon strikes, how many hours do we have? We have 12 hours past midnight. So, at 1 p.m., it means 13 hours past midnight. By 4 p.m., how many hours had passed? Very good. 16 hours passed already. By 10 p.m., it is 22 hours and we barely have 2 hours left before another day of the following year begins. And that is January 1, 2022. What time of the year was it? Yes, New Year! Do you understand now why we have 24 hours in a day? Very well! So, let's continue our lesson. Before we go on, let me present to you the ways or strategies on how we can get the answer related to elapsed time. First, using a number line. Second, a chart. And the third, using subtraction or addition. So, let's get to know each of these strategies. I have here a problem. Will you follow me as I read it? Dad had been working in his laptop for 6 hours. If he started it at 8.30 a.m. and took an hour break for his lunch, at what time did he stop working? Did you understand the problem? Can you answer it? Choose from the given choices. A. 2.30 in the afternoon B. 3.30 in the afternoon C. 4.30 in the afternoon D. 5.30 in the afternoon. What is your answer? Correct! The answer is B. 3.30 in the afternoon. If you got it wrong, don't you worry. We are going to discover how to get the answer. Here is an illustration of number line. In this number line, we are going to show not numbers, but time. Our problem states the R's dad worked on his laptop. Therefore, our timeline will show hours. Let's start with the time dad started working on his laptop. What time is it? Yes! Dad started working at 8.30 in the morning. If an hour passed, what time will it be? 
Yes, it is already 9.30 a.m. Followed by 10.30 a.m. Then 11.30 a.m. 12.30 p.m. 1.30 p.m. 2.30 p.m. 3.30 p.m. And so forth. Now, we had completed our number line. Going back to the time Dad started working, after an hour, it is already 9.30 a.m. That is, the elapsed time from 8.30 to 9.30 is 1 hour. 8.30 to 11.30 is 3 hours. Don't forget that the problem tells that Dad had an hour for his lunch. What time would it be? It may be 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. So, probably he started again working at 12.30 p.m. If Dad started at 12.30 p.m., at what time will be spending another three hours of work? Yes, Dad works until 3.30 p.m. That is why our answer is 3.30 p.m. Another way of finding our answer is using a chart. Similar with number line, we show the hours Dad spent working and the number of hours he spent for his lunch. Looking at the chart, we have time corresponding its activity and the number of hours spent which is elapsed time. Another strategy in finding elapsed time is using operation like subtraction or addition. Choosing which operation to use will depend on the problem. Our problem is asking for the time Dad finished or stopped working. So, we choose addition. For we are given the number of hours Dad spent in doing his work. Dad started his work at 8.30 a.m., which means it is 8 hours and 30 minutes after midnight. Add to the number of hours he spent working, which is 6 hours. We have 14 hours and 30 minutes after midnight. Don't forget his hour for lunch break, which gives us 15 hours and 30 minutes. So, at what time is 15 hours and 30 minutes represent or show? Excellent! It is 3.30 p.m. Is it clear? Do you get how to find answer to questions? or problems related to elapsed time? Now you have learned the different ways or strategies in finding elapsed time, let's try this situation. Follow me as I read it. After answering their modules, Elisa and Edward started reading their favorite stories. They began at 4.45 p.m. and ended at 6.25 p.m. just before they take their dinner. How long did they read their favorite stories? A. 3 hours and 20 minutes B. 1 hour and 40 minutes C. 2 hours and 40 minutes D. 1 hour and 20 minutes you can use any of the three ways you learn in getting the answer. I'll give you two minutes to answer.
What is your answer? If it is B, give yourself a star. May I present to you how we get the answer using subtraction. The problem asks the number of hours Elisa and Edward spent in reading their favorite stories. Therefore, we subtract the time they started reading, which is 4.45 p.m., to the time they ended reading, which is 6.25 p.m. 6.25 p.m. is 6 hours and 25 minutes while 4.45 p.m. is 4 hours and 45 minutes. We cannot subtract 45 minutes from 25 minutes, so we regroup 6 hours. And 6 hours will become 5 hours and 60 minutes. 60 minutes will be added to 25 minutes, which is equal to 85 minutes. After regrouping, 6 hours and 25 minutes will become 5 hours and 85 minutes. We can now subtract 4 hours and 45 minutes, which is equal to 1 hour and 40 minutes. So, the answer is, Elisa and Edward spent 1 hour and 40 minutes reading their favorite story. Let's practice what you have learned in this lesson. In Activity 1, find the elapsed time shown in each number line. Write your answer on your answer sheet. I'm giving you 30 seconds to answer for every number. If your answer is 30, give yourself a star. If your answer is 45, give yourself a star. If your answer is 50, give yourself a star. Activity 2. Complete the table by filling in the elapsed time. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. In this activity, you may pause the video so that you have enough time to do the task. If you are finished, you may play the video to continue answering the next activity. Give yourself a star for every correct answer. Activity 3. Read and solve the problem on your paper. Here is the problem. 
Mario finished writing his daily journal at 5.48 p.m. He began at 5.15 p.m. How long did he write his journal? You can pause again the video to do the task. Then, after you solve the problem, you may continue to play the video. Remember, elapsed time is the length of time an event happened from the start to the end. There are different ways of finding the elapsed time. Use a number line. Count the number of seconds or minutes by using a chart. Subtract or add the time when the event started from or to the time the event ended. This is now the part that you will determine how much you learn in this lesson. For your evaluation, read and solve the problem. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. You can pause the video while answering the problem to give you enough time to do the task. Good luck! Let's check your answer. You may refer in this part to check your answer in Activity 3. Give yourself a star if you got the correct answer. Congratulations! You have successfully finished the lesson.